Hey, hey, hey guys, my name is Del from channel Del Vision over at Twitch.tv and I do love myself some Elite Dangerous in VR. But there is few kind of big problems in this game when you are playing it in VR and namely biggest one is that you often need some information from internet and um, my solution for it has been space posters. Like over here I have this image opened and this is thanks to the new Oculus Beta settings and um, this works pre pretty well but there is some problems like it can clip through things so as you can see it's uh, you have to really adjust them so that they make sense to you like they go through things but if uh, if you are standing still in the cockpit then they work just fine they don't go through anything and the way you set this up is that when you open up on right hand menu you open up this uh, bar here after you've taken part in the oculus beta updated it and then you can just open up your window and this basically allows you to pull out any window from the desktop by first opening it and um, only one can be run at the time I have it already open here. Then let's pull it out and then you resize it. You can turn it around and uh, then you pin it down on there. And there you go. Now you have uh, Diablo 2 open in Elite Dangerous. And um, for image viewing purposes like this one over here, I've chosen to install this uh, program called Image Eye which makes uh, the window borderless because if you were to open this up on normal view, normal uh, photo view or something like that, it will generate these black borders and that will you know, just make it look ugly and you cannot really use this. So I highly recommend installing this image eye. It is free and um, it works pretty well. And if you want to use browser, you do kind of need to get out of the game or you can uh, try to alt tap into it just make sure that all the things that you alt tap into are the latest ones that you want to use like for example now if i want to switch between diablo 2 and the game i just uh, use the alt tap for it and then i can move around in other games and same goes for the browsers but you can of course open it up by opening the menu and then you can click on anything here and it works just fine but it's of course a little bit immersion breaking if you have to keep doing this and immersion is everything in VR I would say so you can you can use the mouse cursor but it doesn't work perfectly because it does make your cursor disappear like you can see over here I cannot see mouse cursor on my desktop I've said so that my mouse has a really short uh, tail behind it you can do it from default windows settings and this way you can see at least the mouse cursor on the main desktop so if you don't want to point over at the windows like i'm doing right now i can use my normal mouse i can use my normal mouse over there and it will show it it will show the tail behind it so this is a workaround until they get it to show the <laughs> the mouse over at any desktop and i think that's it I think that's it for this guide. I hope you've found it helpful and see you in the space, guys. By the way, I think I think this might be a little bit excessive. I don't think this is any more helpful. See you in the space.